Uh, that's the name that I'm using on all my accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Gerard, I'm a TV and film director and a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. Then I'm based on making photos on films, cinemas, mm -hmm. movies, and anything to do with camera work. All right, maybe the two of your models can introduce themselves. Yeah, okay. Just share the mic with them. I'm Janet Wanza, mm -hmm. um, a model for three years now. My name is Anna mm -hmm. Amondi, a student at Kenyatta University, right. pursuing a bachelor's degree in education. Mm -hmm. I love photography, I love modeling, mm -hmm. and most importantly, I believe in the power of prayers. So thank Currently, you. Currently, mm -hmm. I'm Miss Kenyatta University. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through. So maybe I can just start by asking Gerard. Uh -huh. They say that a photo is worth a thousand words, a thousand unspoken words. Is this always the case in all photos that we take? Okay, that's not the case. Anybody can be a, a photographer. Mm -hmm. You can make as many photos as you can. Mm -hmm. You can use your phone, you can use a camera, you can use anything that takes photos. Mm -hmm. But the, the reality that comes in photography is that how do you make your photos mm -hmm. presentable to the other people, to the client, and to, the, to anybody that who wants to make photos out of you. Now, when it comes to photography, you mm -hmm. have to know the basics and what it's needed in a photo. Mm -hmm. Are you doing the right, uh, the right? Are you using the right equipment? Mm -hmm. And then, are you making the right, the, the right writing sequences? Mm -hmm. Are you ensuring that the portraits and the full photos, or the close-ups and the full photos, are in uh, in place? So the most important thing in photography is to identify the basics and everything that you do in photography mm -hmm. that a client wants mm -hmm. to get out of you. So how did you get yourself in this industry? How did you get yourself in the photography industry? <laughs> okay, uh, photography is passion. I did not start with photography. Mm -hmm. I started uh, as a procurement officer. I was a storekeeper. But then after that, I, get in, I, I got inspired by my bishop. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, Bishop Nicholas Muli. I appreciate so much. Mm -hmm. He used to give me his, his camera, his, uh, his phone, that is, to take photos in the church while he's preaching. Mm -hmm. And then inspired me. Everybody was saying, hi, Gerard is making good photos with the phone. Right. So I got the passion. And at the end of the day, I found myself doing photography. All right, maybe I can just talk to the ladies. <laughs> Let them not say I'm discriminating them. So how, how long have you been working with Gerard Photos? Um, since I started modeling. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I was training as a model, he was my photographer. When was that? That was about like three years ago. Yeah, three mm -hmm. years ago. And you're liking it so far? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. amazing. He's great, actually. What about you, Anna? I've worked with Gerald for about four years now, mm -hmm. and I can assure you he, he, he gives the best photography so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time when he takes pictures of me, my classmates would ask me, who, who took that photo? Yeah. And definitely market him. All right, so Gerard, maybe because we want to learn, maybe you can just start us by telling us the first steps that I need to consider before taking a photograph. Yeah, one, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the first the, and the m foremost thing that you have to know when taking a photo, do you have the enough light for that particular subject? Mm -hmm. Okay, does the model have the r right process to take that particular mm -hmm. photo? First, you have to do the three-point lighting. You need to have the backlight, mm -hmm. you need to have the key light, you need to have the fill light. Mm -hmm. When it comes to outdoors, you can use the reflectors yeah. uh, and then use the natural lighting from the sun mm -hmm. and then make a good photo. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to indoors, you should do your own lighting. And for like this scene, the lighting is good, but mm -hmm. you don't have the back, back, the back light. Yeah. So you, you have to do the back light mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can use do your photo boy with this. All right. Yeah, now we, we can start with uh, Janet to make the photo. Okay. So what we do is make, uh, yeah. make sure now she has the, uh, she has the, the light that is needed. Yeah, yeah, enough light from the back. Mm -hmm. That's the back light. All right. As you can see, there's a good light there giving me the key light. Yeah. All right. And then I have another light. 
from that point, we give me the fill light. Mm -hmm. So with this one, I don't need any flash, I don't need anything. So what I do... I Kindly do use the microphone. I, I'm going to switch off my speed light because mm -hmm. I really don't need it. Mm -hmm. But because I have enough lighting for that. What I'm going to do is to check the settings on my camera, mm -hmm. whether I got uh, the right settings for that. We can play with ISOs, mm -hmm. aperture, mm -hmm. uh, shutter speed, then balance the color tone. That's the watch balance. All right. So what I'm going to do today for, uh, for let me just interject <laughs> you a bit. Okay. For people that don't know what ISO, okay. aperture, aperture okay. oh, what are those? ISO is sensibility to light towards a subject. Hmm. Uh, aperture, these are the number of frames that will be taken out of that photo. I, I think I've seen someone taking a photo and then it's shaky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are frames. We call them frames. Mm -hmm. If the, frame, the frames are low, the photo can be shaky. Mm -hmm. You should be steady while making it. And then we apply uh, the, 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 the high soul mm -hmm. when the, the, the room is not well lit up. Use the microphone. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. When the, the, the room is not well lit up, that's when we use the high source. So if we adjust the ISO to a higher level, the camera opens the lighting well. Mm -hmm. But when the high soul is low, then you have to do enough lighting to that particular subject. All right. Yeah. So take us through how this work goes. One, what do I need from her? If mm -hmm. I need her an extreme close-up, I should have the right lens for that particular shot. Mm -hmm. So I have the that five millimeter lens here, mm -hmm. and then I have a zoom lens here. Right. These are 55 to 200 millimeter lens. This one can make a portrait, mm -hmm. but I can make it well I'm at a far distance. I cannot make it on a close-up. Right. But when it comes to this 35 millimeter lens, mm -hmm. I can do it on a on a close-up area. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but when making a group photo, I don't need these ones. I need a wide lens. Right. That can be 10 to 24 or 18 to 55. Okay. But for now, I can I can start with these uh, 55 millimeter lens mm -hmm. and then make a good photo out of her. All right. Yeah. So should be prepared while you are making the photo. Mm -hmm. And then your model should also be prepared to make the photo. And then stand by. You have to remind them that <laughs> they have to be on standby. Yes, yes, yes. You have to remind them. You have to uh, to tell them that the camera is rolling, mm -hmm. and then you should say action. All right. Before you do this particular job, yeah. just move a bit closer. Oh, yeah. um, have you ever had situations where you you've taken a photograph of a client, and then they come claiming that they didn't come out smiling, <laughs> and who do they blame? Is it you or themselves, or are they just naturally ugly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. There are some people who are photogenic. Even if sometimes I go to an event, like a wedding, but my camera is still on one particular person. Why? Because mm -hmm. that person is photogenic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a camera. All right. So, but for this case, only when I find a client complaining something like that, I normally ask uh, her or him, what do you want? What kind of photo do you want? She tells me I'm black and I want to be brown. I go into my software. And Photoshop? I Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And then I send it back to her. Yeah, I look good. That's what they normally But do. that is actually the fake yeah, that image fake of them. Fake, <laughs> image of them. <laughs> that is what Kenyans <laughs> love, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, wouldn't yeah. blame them. Yeah, but I just deliver what my client wants from me. All right. Yeah. Now we can take a photo of her. Yeah, now you, we can position her now. Mm -hmm. You can be on a start by mode. And then today I'm using my Nikon D5300. It's a nice camera. All right. Yeah, for photos, but there are more good cameras than this. Mm -hmm. So we can start with the uh, uh, portraits. Uh, I need an extreme closer. So do you do you g let me interject that? Okay. Do you give them poses, or they already know what you want? Okay. Professional models, like I know they are professional. Mm -hmm. I don't need to tell them I need this pose. They mm -hmm. know what mm -hmm. we need. Mm -hmm. But a new client, it's not a model. Don't know these shots. I just show them some poses. All right. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but but for them, they know what we need. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of giving them the instruction. I need an extreme close up. They know. I need All a right. medium shot. They know. All right. Let's take the photo, please. <laughs> 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 All right. So I've so taken that? most of your time asking you. <laughs> it's okay. No, okay. <laughs> Stand by. Stand by. Camera rolling. Action. Good. I need a medium close up. Good. Stand by. Camera rolling. Action. Good. Then in the long. 
shot. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, maybe you can come a bit closer. Yes. So how do you determine the length that you're supposed to get from the person you're taking a photo from? Yeah, sure. That's why you are telling me come closer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't I want to, you to move out of the... No, <laughs> as I told you before, uh, I'm, right. using, I'm using two lenses here. Okay. I'm uh, using the portrait kit. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is for the, the, the extreme close-ups mm -hmm. and the medium close-ups. All right. But for this zoom lens, I can take subjects on a far distance, mm -hmm. but this one blurs the background All easier right. than this. Okay. So you should master the, the, the focus of these when you are taking the photos because I in some way or mm -hmm. one another, you are going to lose the, the focus of the subject. All right. Uh, so um, I'm using this one because already I, I had done the, 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 the distance between the subject okay. and the camera. You, you, you just at estimate or you use j your eyes to just look and you, you can tell? Uh, there, are, there are some things we call focus points All in right. camera. Mm -hmm. Focus points, when you start taking photos, you should know while you are here and then focus on that subject. Mm -hmm. You should know where that focus uh, focus point is. Then the camera will automatically show you. All the lens will automatically show you. All right. Yeah. Maybe you can just have a look at the works that you have on your online portfolio. Let's get to look at some of the photos you have on your online portfolio. There it goes. A very beautiful picture. What inspired you to doing this? Oh, I want to appreciate their mom. Her mom is Mary. All right. She's Brielle. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, her mom is a, it's a group of uh, it's, a, it's a group of ladies mm -hmm. in Kitengela. They call them themselves pretty moms. They love my job. All right. I understand children are so difficult to handle. Unataka kumpiga picha hapa ndio yule uko amekimbilia maua, ameona sweetie mahali and they want to go for it. How do you manage to contain them? Ama to tell them this is how you are supposed to pose. Actually I was coming to that point uh, for that kid. Mm -hmm. It was an hectic moment for the photography shoots that I did. What happened? Mm -hmm. Once I arrived there, uh, the kid slept. Mom told me, oh, we are going to wait for the kid to wake to up. All right. Then we are going to do the shoot. It <laughs> must uh, be then, interesting. Uh, yes, then uh, I, I have to be patient at the same time. Mm -hmm. I cannot uh, hurry my client, tell, 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 tell her home that we should do this. No, I have to go according to the to the time limit that I've given my client. All so right. what happened, uh, mm -hmm. while taking that photo, the kid to, the kid slept, but after like 15, 15 minutes, she woke up, and then we started taking and the photos. All right, we, we will be continuing with this discussion in a bit. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can be part of this conversation tonight by simply tweeting us, beginning with the word Y News, at Yvonne Anula at Y254 channel. The hashtag to use is Y254 updates. We take a very short break and we'll be back, so don't you go away.